Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk more about the comic book industry. Or at least Yay. graphic <laughs> novels. We're going to talk about graphic novels because, you know, this is this keeps coming up It's semantics. People are like, comics are fine because manga is fine. It's like when we're talking about the comic book industry dying, we're talking about the American, mostly American produced direct market. It's like saying, the movie industry is fine because porn's fine. Yeah, right? <laughs> just... Manga is beyond fine at, the, at this point. Manga is doing incredibly well. Mm -hmm. uh, and what's going on now is the comic book industry and, and the people who uh, crunch these numbers are starting to roll manga into right. the adult graphic novel sales to make it look better for them. Well, weren't they doing that with crowdfunding too? Yes. Because people yes. have these great crowd crowdfunding campaigns. And basically, the, but the kicker is, is the crowdfunding campaigns and the manga are actually giving readers and fans what they want, where comics lately has not been doing so. So they're going to try to lump that in to, to look like the numbers are higher than they are. Yeah. And then they're going to say, hey, you know, I am not Starfire is doing great because My Hero Academia is doing right. great. It's like, we're not going to fix the problem. We're just going to, to, you know, put a big screen in front of it and say, look at that, shiny. <laughs> the uh, smoke and mirrors, razzle dazzle. Yeah. All right, so before we get into it, please subscribe. For more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys, we're over 170,000. Woo! 170,000 subs. Thank you. Woohoo. I had to get that in there. I was a little delayed. <laughs> I'm not well today, so I'm like... Yeah, Geeky's kind of sick today, so she's a little little slow. But uh, here we go. This is coming from Comic Book Resources, and we're going to talk about uh, this article, and then we're going to show you, you know, some of the sales numbers again for you know series like Demon Slayer. Um, and uh, but talk about what's going on in the direct market too that they've been canceling books like crazy because they're just not selling they're not selling so cbr.com adult graphic novel adult graphic novel sales jumped nearly 30% in 2020 thanks to manga yep in 2020 sales figures for adult graphic novels jumped uh, yeah 29.1% in comparison to 2019 with manga accounting for 80% of that mm -hmm. are we surprised no we've been saying this this is what we've been saying yeah, like, God, I just, but they're going to claim it. The comic book industry is going to claim it, say that they did this. They did nothing. They did nothing. You did nothing. You did nothing. So the readers went someplace else and they went and found manga. You that'd know? be like me saying my, well, you know, that'd be, that, it's ridiculous. I'm trying to give it a good analogy. It'd be like, my book sold shit, but because other people that had a good story people wanted did really well, that somehow is, is thanks to me. Well, they do that. They do that in publishing. They're like, oh, book sales are through the roof now because of a new Harry Potter book. But that doesn't mean everybody else is yeah, doing well. Yeah, the chart could be like everybody else is really low, like little little, little, little low graph thing. And then the, the Harry Potter's through the roof. And yeah. it's like, oh, overall, it, it brought everything. Great. Yeah. Publishing's great. It's the 80-20 uh, the rule, right? Um, so per Newsarama, a new report from NPD Group explains that 16.2 million adult graphic novels were sold in 2020. We're going we're gonna to talk about Demon Slayer. And how effing pathetic that is. Because Demon Slayer outsold all of it. Yeah, they didn't even count that on here. No, they didn't. Not the Japanese sales. This must be mm -hmm. the American sales or North American sales. The top selling adult graphic novel of 2020 was The Boy, The Mole, The, the Fox, and The Horse, which I've never heard of. But okay. MPD Group's top 10 list is dominated by manga, particularly My Hero Academia. In fact, five of the 10 best selling adult graphic novels were My Hero Academia. Um... Oh, couple, Demon Slayer. Yep. A couple of other manga titles made the top 10. Demon Slayer, which is just sort of getting its legs over wait, here. Wait, wait. Top 10. Okay. Five of the 10 best-selling graphic novels were My Hero Academia. And so half of them. Yes. Were, were half of them were, no, were, no, it seems more than half of them are manga. Yeah. So we have the, the first one, the, the highest Never selling heard was of it. The Boy, the Mole, the Fox, and the Horse. And then we have My Hero Academia 1. Strange Planet, uh, I have heard of. My Hero Academia 2. Demon Slayer 1. My Hero Academia Volume 24. My Hero Academia Volume 3. Stranger Planet, uh, again, which is the two strange planets. My Hero Academia and Uzumaki. So seven of the ten. Yes. And then one is like is the same guy who had two different books on there. Yes. Okay. <laughs> You're, you're but it's all up, guys. That, Everything's and, up. And, and and these other ones have just been fantastic and sold so well. Comic book Kickstarter, you know, again, they're rolling the crowdfunding. Comic book Kickstarter has raised over 22 million in 2020, and there are 
a couple, just a couple of Kickstarters and comics that made up a, probably a quarter of that. I, you know, um, Keanu Reeves in the mm-hmm. Boom one and uh, Todd McFarlane's. Right, and they're rolling that in like, like, oh, look, guys, it's it, it's, it's very, it, it's not. They're like mis, they're misrepresenting the numbers and the sales, and they're trying to make it sound like they're trying to say that, oh, look, we're doing it right. It's okay that our stuff sucks. It's okay the art style looks like shit. It's okay the stories are not something people want to read. It's completely fine because our sales are up. But though they used what went up were the things that were not shitty stories, had good art, things people wanted to read, and they're trying to say it's the same thing. Yeah. Meanwhile, DC Comics laying people off like crazy because they're not selling enough comics to justify mm-hmm. their existence. Uh, they're canceling titles like crazy because, again, they don't sell well enough to justify their existence. And they're having a ticker tape parade for... Uh, the fact that we sold 16.2 million adult graphic novels. I'm assuming that's just here in the States, right? 16 point. Okay. Cause I'm going to show you. It has you. to be because it doesn't make sense otherwise. No, because look at, look at what Demon Slayer is selling overseas. You know, hundreds, hundreds of millions of copies of Demon Slayer. Um, so this is uh the Demon Slayer manga is making history after breaking a 2008 record. Some recent volumes have sold millions of copies. It overtook one piece. Uh, It overtook One Piece as the highest selling manga series in the world today. For this record to be broken, which can be added to the shattered records that have been left in the wake of this popular manga, the first, eighth, and ninth volumes of the manga have sold over 5 million copies. So those three volumes of Demon Slayer, now it's not all of Demon Slayer, because Demon Slayer is well over 100 million copies. Mm -hmm. Just those... Just those three sold almost as many as like the entire rest of it. Right, the, right, right. I mean, this is this is insane. But I don't think they're counting Japan. But they're not. Ta- but like I said, the, the takeaway they're getting is not that the right takeaway. The take- no. They're trying to twist the takeaway to tell everybody that look, 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 we're all doing well. We're all doing well. But the actual takeaway is, if you want people to buy your books, do good stories, do good characters, do good art. That's the takeaway. That's the actual factual takeaway yeah. of the situation. And that's why people are going to manga. Look, 2020 alone here, I, I knew I had those numbers somewhere. 2020 alone, One Piece sold 7.7 million copies. Um, Kingdom earned uh, second place on the sales chart with 8.2 million copies just in 2020. In stark contrast, Demon Slayer sold a grand total of 82, 82.3 million copies just in 2020. Right. Just in 2020. And you're like, Things are great, guys. We sold 16 million. The entire industry sold I know, 16 million. But if you look at the chart, the, the, the top 10 still, among that are all manga. The, the couple that are, are manga. I, I, oh, okay. I can't even, I'm just, I can't even think of an analogy you can pair this to because it's so insane. It's like you guys are dying. The, the, the Western comic book industry is dying, but you're going to latch on to manga to, to keep justifying your existence. Um, again, I think Warner is starting to see through the bullshit at this point. Well, we point. know Disney is now. Disney's starting to do projects with Star Wars that they're hiring uh, manga and anime biz, people yeah. to do. Yeah. Um, I- I'm sorry. It's like you can't claim any credit for this. Yeah, the Western comic book industry can't claim any credit for this success. And no. they're going to try, but they can't. And even the success here in the U.S. is nothing compared to what's going on in Japan. You know, it's just, it's so funny to watch this. But yeah, again, they're starting to roll crowdfunding into it. Anything to make the industry look healthy. Because any of us who are following the comic book industry, we know it's not healthy. Mm -mm. It's not healthy at all. But manga's doing just fine. Yeah, as we've been saying and pointing out repeatedly. Yes, we're going to wrap this one up? Yep. Okay, so please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye.